Hey, what's up, everybody? Nola Deech here, and TJ. And we're here at the Louisiana Renaissance Festival 2018. Let's go check this out. Dun, 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 dun. Welcome to the village of Albright. This is the Louisiana Renaissance Festival in Hammond, Louisiana. Check out this dragon right on the side of the castle here. This is pretty cool. A little scary looking. As you walk in, you're inundated with shops and different food vendors. And of course, people coming up to greet you. Good day, friends. Will Shakespeare, I love you. You love me. Neutral, glorious <laughs> affection happening here. In costume. Here's the infamous wizard that we see every year that we come here telling us hello. This whole property is huge and these buildings remain standing all throughout the year. They just get remodeled or repainted every year. Lots and lots of jewelry selection here. Bracelets and earrings and rings and crowns. Have a good day, thank you. And if you like candles, they have a wide variety of different types of candles. Different smells, different shapes, different sizes, and incense to burn as well. And what is this? This looks like a uh, TARDIS. Some mushroom shaped candles. I assume those are mushrooms. Let's say mushrooms. Check this out, the skull inside the crystal ball candle holder here. Pretty neat, and a dragon. That's pretty cool. Different types of necklaces they have hanging here. Dragons, elephants, frogs, hearts, horses, turtles, wolves, skulls. And this scary looking stone face. Here's a shop with some burned in etched wood. <laughs> this is awesome. All kinds of different etchings here. This is the Captain Plackbeard's shop. I like this one the most. Well, it wouldn't be a rent fest without shopping at an arms dealer. If you need some swords, this dragon's head is really cool. Kind of scary. This is interesting. Very cool. This is really cool, this skull with the horns. A little dragon coming out of its egg. I like this one. I should get this one. It reminds me of somebody. I don't know who. <laughs> this guy is cool. It almost looks like Ash from Evil Dead ripping the skull and spine out of somebody.
Well, if you get hungry at Renfest, there's no shortage of food. The biggest draw out here is the turkey leg. You see thing? Is that good? Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. That is huge. I think I'm going to do it too. She's going to do All it. All right. <laughs> Another second thought. It wasn't the better. Well, it's hard. It goes in squares, man. It Hold goes me. in squares. <laughs> I mean, it's going to be rough seas either way, but it gets bumpier. Rule well, number three. Rule well, number four. Watch out for the spider. Mm -hmm. Ready. Push. Push. I love you. I hate it spinning around. What? I just ate a turkey leg. I know, we all did. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. Squares. We're going in squares. Oh, I see what's going to happen. Let us go, and it's going to... The other Get way. Yeah. Fast? Just like we used to do when we would Wait, on the Wait, fast? Right. Yeah. Woo! Oh. I did not know about this! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know about this part. and or house cleaners handmade brooms out here for sale <laughs> this guy out here hand makes glass and here are some of the creations that he has made very talented fellow and he teaches you how to make glass these are beautiful wow how you make green glass is you just simply add iron oxide to your batch well that's one of the ways of making green glass another way to make green glass is chrome chromium oxide turns it a very dark rich green um, manganese manganese oxide turns it purple uh, let's see, uh, gosh, there's so many different uh, cadmiums and seleniums. Uh, they'll turn the glass orange or yellow or red. So as I roll that glass on that metal table, it cools it off. But it mainly just cools the outside skin. I can tell you the inside is still very hot. So what I did there is I put a little puff of air against the end of the pipe. I didn't blow into the pipe because I couldn't. Okay, it's plugged off on one end. So what I did is added a little bit of air pressure and then I stuck my thumb on the end and now I'm waiting. I'm waiting until the air uh, inside that pipe starts to get hot. Of course, what does air do when it heats up? It expands. Yeah, it expands. And as it begins to expand, it wants to go somewhere. So it's literally pushing itself into the molten glass and it's creating a bubble inside of there. And so, um, yeah, 
time came, I did my LSATs, I applied to law school, but I also, in the meantime, had applied to graduate studies in glass blowing and sculpture. And uh, I was accepted, uh, actually, to both. And so I chose to go on to law school, and everybody hates me. You know? uh, I chose to go on and, and do uh, glass blowing and, and sculpture. So I have a master's degree in glass blowing and sculpture. Glass slash sculpture. Yeah, it's kind of interesting because there are many people who have a relationship with violence. And that relationship is very different with each person, from person to person. And um, through that relationship, they grow to understand things about violence that many people who don't understand it uh, go through. You go up and back and forth until you can swing it over your head, and then you smash it down. There you go. Here. Oh! No, no, no. Yeah, you can. Okay, look, I will show you full gear real quick. Ready? Watch how he does. I hold my hat for me. Okay. <laughs> I'm left-handed. Get on that side. Get on that side. So, do this. You swing it. That was fun to watch. <laughs> but today, my friends, we shall defy God. Today, we shall upset the status quo. Today, victory will be won by my hand. <laughs> That what? is a serious Dole Whip, complete with pineapple. Mm. How is it? Amazing. Does it taste like Dole Whip? I think Disney needs to up their game. Yeah. <laughs> now these are incense holders. They hold a incense cone inside of them where you burn the incense. They have all kinds of different smells, patchouli, cedarwood, vanilla bean, cinnamon, by the Global Scent Company here. Check them out, the Global Scent Company. You can check them out on Facebook. That was fun. You had a good time? Yeah. Oh. yeah. <laughs> Keep that in. I'm keeping that one in. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like the video, reach down below, click the little thumbs up button. If you like this video, you want to see more, click the subscribe button. Right next to it is a little bell icon. You click that, 
you'll get notified anytime I upload a new video or go live. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed a little land yap from all these hoodats. The Louisiana Renaissance Festival 2018. Go pass a good time. Thank you.